Peace beautiful family, this is Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel I talk about all things Law of Assumption, Law of Attraction, Quantum Physics, Personal Development. If you're into that type of thing, then you're in the right place. Also, I want you guys to know that I am a Mindset and Manifestation Coach. If you would like to know about who I am and what I can offer you as a coach, you can just check the description box down below. So here's what I want you guys to understand is that when you are manifesting things, your 3D circumstances are happening to you. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys some things that I have learned from being a mindset coach and from also experiencing things in life that have made me realize that it's not the wisest thing to ignore your 3D circumstances. I know I have videos on this channel about how, you know, to ignore your 3D circumstances, but that was like two years ago and I have grown and it's not to say that those videos are not relevant, but what I am telling you is that I found a better way to handle your 3D circumstances. Think about it this way. When you're dealing with a 3D circumstance, you're focusing on all the things that are going wrong. And we know that the law of assumption says that whatever you focus on, whatever you assume to be true about your life, you're going to experience more of that in your reality. So what do we do? Because the shit is happening. Well, if you stay tuned, I'm going to tell you, sis, because I do not want to continue to tell people to ignore the 3D reality. I want to tell you guys how you can accept your 3D reality and put your foot down and say enough is enough. I want you to throw your 3D reality away. Just put it in the trash. Because at the end of the day, your circumstances that you're going through right now have no bearing on you being able to manifest the things that you say you want to have. So that's, I want you to get your energy up. I want you to, to start to believe that what I say goes in my reality. <laughs> what I say goes in my reality. Keep telling yourself this. I affirm all day every day when I see something in my reality that I don't like. Everything is working out in my favor. What I say goes in my reality. The more you say an affirmation, the more you repeat that, the more you're going to start to feel it. I just want to ask you guys this. Since people are so concerned with their 3D reality, their 3D, oh my goodness, I can't pay my rent, oh my SP is not calling me, he ghosted me. So all these things that you guys are focusing on, would you go to a restaurant and have a meal in front of you and it's disgusting and continue to eat it? Because that disgusting meal is your 3D reality, but you're still just sitting there eating it, just choking it down. No, you need to get yourself in the mindset that I will not accept things in my 3D reality that do not reflect who I am, the person I'm becoming, and what I desire to have. So this stops today. This is what I do with my life. I help people to transform their mind so that they can understand that you are the operant power. The law of assumption, the one thing that I've gotten from the law of assumption and Neville's teachings is, it's not just about living the end. It's about thinking from the end as if you were the person. So what thoughts would that person be having? Let's just say that you are going through heartbreak. You would say, oh, my heart is so broken. I, I can't stop thinking about my SP. Well, guess what? You can't stop thinking about your SP. So that's why you continue to experience the heartbreak. Instead of ignoring that, why don't you think the thoughts of a person who is not heartbroken anymore? So what would that person be thinking? Instead of like, oh, he did this to me, he did that to me. If you were not heartbroken anymore, you would be thinking different thoughts like I'm about to go out with my friends. I'm about to treat myself. I deserve to go out and have a good time. I'm single and ready to mingle. Um, I'm ready to meet people that resonate with me. I'm going to have a fabulous night out. Or if you were looking to manifest your SP back into your life, you would be thinking he's so obsessed with me. He can't stop calling me. Oh my goodness, this dude is always hitting me up. He's so in love with me. Our relationship is so great. You would be thinking different thoughts. So it's not about ignoring your 3D reality. It's about thinking different thoughts as if you already have it. Oh, that's too hard for me. Well, do you want your manifestation or no? When people tell me things are too hard, you know what I tell them? There are a lot of things in life that are hard. Changing your thoughts is not one of them. It's literally a discipline thing. 
And so what I want you to do is instead of ignoring your 3D reality, I want you to start pimp slapping your 3D reality. I want you to say the thoughts that a person who already had their manifestation would say. That is how you're going to be able to manifest through your unsavory, unwanted 3D reality. Stop wallowing in all those feelings of, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I have an acting background, so I know how to be dramatic. But be dramatic about the fact that shit is working out for you. Be dramatic about the fact that you have everything that you need to manifest what you want. When you see things in your 3D reality, like the law of assumption says for you to do, is to look at your life as if you already have it. When you're getting yourself up in the morning, make the effort to listen and saturate your mind with things that are going to make you feel as if you're already in that end result. That is how you navigate through the 3D reality. Remember, Neville Garvey himself had to be pimp slapped by his mentor Abdullah when he was trying to go back to Barbados and his 3D circumstances was telling him that he was broke and Abdullah was like, you're already in Barbados. And Neville was like, huh? But then after a while, he got it. Like, this man is trying to tell me to stop focusing on all the things that are going wrong and to not just ignore your 3D reality. I don't think that Abdullah was trying to tell Neville to ignore it. He was trying to get him to focus his thoughts on the end result. Because if you have a health ailment like I've had in the past, you're not ignoring that shit. You're literally going to have to face it. You're going to have to fight your way through. Yes, I said, fight your way through. Enough is enough. Enough thinking, low level, low vibrational thoughts. You have to say, okay, this is my 3D reality. I don't care what's going on in my 3D reality. It's not stopping me from getting what I desire to have. You have to tell a new story. And when I say tell a new story, I mean write it down. 80% of people do not write down their goals, their dreams, their aspirations, or their new story like I teach people as a coach. And when you don't write it down, you are not connecting your mind with your heart. Your circumstances will start to become non-existent. The law of assumption is all about getting a new identity about yourself. And you persist in that new identity. You think from the end result of that person until it becomes a fact in your reality. You don't give up on yourself. You only did, it, you only did affirmations for a week. What? You only did them for a week? <laughs> no, 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 my dear. You do them until you have your manifestation. You visualize if you like visualization until you have your manifestation. So whatever technique you guys like to do, you do that until your manifestation is here. You do not give up. Because at this point right now, I've had so many things that I've had to overcome in my 3D circumstances. And if I, I had a health ailment, a really serious one, okay? So nobody can't tell me about, I'm the queen of ignoring 3D circumstances, but I had to face it and say enough is enough. When I stop ignoring, this is the secret, so listen up. Guys, my phone just died and I don't want to stop the momentum of what I'm saying because what I'm saying is really important. Here's the thing, when I stopped ignoring my 3D reality is when I actually was able to manifest a lot faster because I wasn't resisting my 3d reality i wasn't resisting all the things that made me feel anxious or fearful i was actually saying you know what it is what it is all you do is every single day is say to yourself things are working out in my favor this is a part of my journey i know it's going to work out in my favor you know like it's not a big deal to take an hour to write your new story do you want your manifestations i love you very much please invest in the law of assumption invest in learning about how the law works because the law of assumption is not woe is me the law of assumption is i own this this is mine it's a very confident way of looking at manifestation you're beautiful you're perfect there's nothing wrong with you all right you guys have a beautiful night beautiful day wherever you are and i will talk to you guys very soon peace